Oh, how you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my MLB picks for Thursday, August 16th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure and click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all my MLB, NBA, and NFL videos. And if you haven't already, come check out my new website here at www.dfschishi.com. So, hey, another monster night for the money team. Cash on everything, FanDuel and DraftKings. You know, I have these cuts. I have a lot of people actually been trying me out. They've been getting, you know, day trials, um, trying me out. I'm hitting. Hopefully, they turn into monthly subscribers. Had this guy today, $10 to try us for a day. He put $14 in. Um, and, man, let me show you what he did real quick. Boom. So, hey, the guy spent a total of, you know, $24 today. Got 76 back. Um, you know, if you don't count the $10 that he put in to get our thing, this is a five-time return on an investment. Overall, for this guy, it was just a little bit over a three-times return on investment. But the lines have been going off. 220 I mean, come on. This is a monster line. Actually got robbed of a home run as well. Otherwise, this would have put us pretty much in the top 10 of all single-entry GPPs. I mean, we've been on fire. Like I said, you can check out all of our um, – all of our results on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Roto Beast. Hey, join the money team. Stop missing now. I'm telling you. I've been telling you this for three or four days already. We've been on fire. I've been telling you guys since, you know, two years ago when I started these videos. We are the money team. We always win more than we lose. Hey, I'm helping people pay bills. You see the screenshots that I post that people send me. I don't have to lie. I always keep it real. Hey, Let's get it together. Stop messing around. Join the team. So, yeah, let's just get in this slate real quick before we do. Um, I'm going to run my contest back. I didn't get it today. I got it yesterday. Hopefully, we can get it again tomorrow. So, I'm looking for 100 likes. All you got to do is like this video. Uh, make sure and drop your name in the comment section below and that you're subscribed to this channel. If I get those 100 likes, I will pick one lucky winner to get a free um, VIP package, 30 days to all access to our website everything included so don't miss out on that click um, the like button drop your name down below in the comment section and uh, yeah let's go so hey this is a ugly 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 slate all right i'm just telling you right now this slate is ugly i thought yesterday was ugly no this slate is even worse pitching i don't know what to do you got john gray going against atlanta you got who's absolutely scorching hot. You got Rorick, who's pitching well, but going against St. Louis, who's scorching hot. You got Buck Holtz, he's probably the, you know, the option, the default option. You got Teheran, who's been pitching solid, but he's going against the Colorado team. You know what I mean? It's like, there, there's a lot of, I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest yet. So I'm going to, let's just get through this. First, we got uh, Teheran projected the highest. I'm not sure why, to be honest. I definitely think he's in play. He does have some strikeout upside, but he also definitely has blowout, uh, uh, blow up upside. Strictly GPP, um, you got this guy, Jacob Knox, had one start, um, went six innings, got your 40 fantasy point at 6,400. This is a much tougher team in Arizona, uh, but it is in San Diego, which is a uh, pitcher's park. So I definitely think this guy can have an okay outing. This is somebody you can look at strictly GPP. You got Tanner Roark going against St. Louis. One thing I will note is that Matt Carpenter got hurt today. If he's out the lineup, that's a big bat out of the lineup. Um, Roark, I mean, he's been on fire. He's pitched at least seven innings um, and got at least seven Ks in three of the past four. So the guy's been pitching very well. Um, you know, then we got Buck Holtz. Like I said, I mean, he just went against the Padres not that long ago. Five and uh, two-thirds innings, seven Ks. Got you 35 fantasy points. He got you that one more out. He would have got you 41. So definitely think this is a solid spot for Buck Holtz going against the Padres. And lastly, we got John Gray um, going against Atlanta. John Gray's actually been pitching very, very well um, recently. Thing thing about it is, though, is he is going in Atlanta. In Atlanta, which is considered the East Coast Coors Field. John Gray's used to pitching in Coors Field, though. So I definitely think that GPP-wise, he could have an outing, a uh, good outing. He's probably going to be low-owned. Um, you know, Acuna, he also got hurt in the top of that Braves order. That was a big blow for them. Catcher first base, like I said, Carper, I think he's going to be out. Salvador Perez um, going against uh, Givalito. I like Perez. I think he went uh, hit a home run tonight. Twenty nine hundred is just too cheap for him. Anthony Rizzo swinging a really good bat. He's four for ten with a double in his career against Nova. 
Paul Goldsmith going against this guy who just had one starter in his career. Goldie's a professional hitter, straight up, going against Jacob Nix. He's definitely in play. Freddie Freeman going against Gray. I don't really want to pick on Gray, but Freddie Freeman's tearing the ball up straight up. I played him three straight nights. I don't know if I'm going to play him tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit more of a tough decision. He's two for nine in his career with a double off John Gray. Uh, Molina, I like Molina going against Rorick. He's four for eight in his career. And lastly, Justin Smoke, definitely double dong upside going against a pitcher named Sparkman I never even heard of. Second base, we'll start with Whit Merrifield going against um, Givalito. Um, I think, you know, he's a solid play, 3,600. Um, gives you a little bit of power upside, some definitely stolen base upside back in that leadoff spot. Jose Abreu, he has two home runs in his career against um, Nova. Albies batting right in front of um, Freeman. Don't really want to pick on Gray, but Atlanta's really hot, and I think they're going to be really low on tomorrow because people are going to get scared of Gray's name. Um, Odor, I mean, 3,500. His price actually came down a little bit. This is another reason I said this slate's ugly. We don't even know who a couple teams are going against. You, um, they haven't even announced a pitcher yet for the Angels. Um, but, I mean, they're, they are in Texas. Texas, the balls have been flying because it's so hot lately. So I'm always going to want to target, um, you know, batters in Texas. So um, Odor will definitely be on the radar. DJ LeMahieu, only 2700 This is just too cheap for him. He has two doubles in his career going against Teheran. Um, next, we'll go to third base. Arenado swinging a good bat. He has a triple in his career against Teheran. Rendon going against um, Flaherty. I'm liking this Washington stack. Um, Boat for the um, the Cubs. He's been batting in really good spot in the order. Projected to bat clean up tomorrow. He should get plenty of RBI opportunities at only 2,900. Adrian Belcher is expected to come back uh, from the DL. He's cheap, only 2700 at home in Texas where the balls fly. I like him. Uh, Ken Delario has really been holding it down for Detroit. I've actually been playing him a bunch of days, going against Irving Santana. I definitely think, once again, we could go back to the Detroit bats and find some good value. And lastly, we'll look at Sano, batting in that four spot, going against the lefty Liriano. Um, you know, he saved my night last night. He's starting to pick it up a little bit. I'm getting a little bit healthier, so I think Sano's a great play. Shortstop will go Trey Turner going against Flaherty. Like I said, Washington Stack, I really like him. You got Trevor Story going against Tahara, and he's two for six with a double in his career. Andrus, the price is down right now. A little bit of power upside, some definite stolen base upside. Uh, batting that two spot at only 3,200. Glacius, good value play, 2,600. Batting that two spot for Detroit. Like I said, Detroit has a lot of value. If we do need some value tomorrow, I don't know if we're necessarily going to need any, though. Polanco going against a lefty, Francisco Liriano. Um, you know, Liriano's on the back end of his career. Polanco's been having a really good season. Great spot for him. Outfield, um, Starling Marte, if he's in. I mean, he he only he's only 7 for 33 in his career against Leicester. But Leicester hasn't been the same this year. Um, he does have three doubles and three stolen bases. If Marte gets on him, he can easily swipe two bags. So I definitely got to put Marte in play. AJ Pollock going against this guy, um, you know, Knicks. Never even heard of him. Like I said, he had one good start. I'm not going to take that as, oh, my God, this guy's the best. Arizona's been hot. They're they're in the middle of the playoff uh, race right now, and they definitely don't want to lose this game, so I think they'll become ready to go. Chu, only 3,300, batting in that leadoff spot. Um, great price for him. I expect Okuna to be out tomorrow. Bryce Harper, 4,500, going against Flaherty. I don't know if he's a guy I really want to pay up for, but Bryce Harper has double dong upside any night, so we, we always got to consider him. Will Myers, 3,000, is just too cheap, to be honest with you, for him. He's 3 for 9 with a double in his career against Buckholt, um already. Blackman, come on, only 3,300 for Charlie Blackman. They're starting to disrespect the dude now. Um, you know, he has a double, a home run, and a stolen base in his career already against Tahara. And I think this is a great spot for him to bounce back and have a solid game in Atlanta where the balls definitely fly. Lastly, I've been playing this guy almost every day as well. Cassiano, so only 3,100 going against Santana. He's 7 for 19 with two doubles in his career. So, hey. I mean, like I said, this is an ugly slate. Pitching, I don't know what to do. It's crazy because they only have two games on the early slate. 
but they have three really good pitchers on the early slate in Tanaka, Snell, uh, Snell, and Nova. If any one of those guys were on this slate, they pretty much would have been chalked. But we don't get none of those guys. We have to figure it out with these guys. Who we're going to play on this slate, I will um, comment tomorrow, a little bit later in the day. Actually, just make sure and um, have those notifications turned on. I am going to do my cash game core video tomorrow, and I'll make the ultimate decision who I'm going to go with for pitcher. So make sure don't miss out on that video as well. Um, and, hey, make sure to jump in my contest. All you got to do is like the video, drop your name in the comment section. You want to check out any of my recent results, hit me up, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Roto Beast. Hey, we've been on fire. Join the money team. Let's get this money again tomorrow.